Well, we can speak now to Yusuf Sharif, who is a political analyst. He joins me live from Tunis. Thanks very much indeed for being with us on the News Hour today. So the Arab Spring all started in Tunisia. Ten years on, how do people there feel about the changes that happened? I think the feeling depends on who you're talking to. If it's to young students who still um, see the future as possibly bright, who can enjoy their freedom of expression. If you talk to people who are quite well off um, and who benefited from the revolution, they will tell you it's perfect. But if you talk to people who are struggling, who uh, struggling to to um, to buy the, their basic commodities, they will tell you that everything is going bad. Therefore, I think it's hard to judge on the results of the Arab Spring just by talking to people um, because of these very different opinion views and also because of the different um, propaganda and counter propaganda that is related to the um, to the uh, coverage of the Arab Spring in general in Tunisia. And what happened in Tunis, of course, kickstarted a wider change across different countries, but not all of them clearly are better off. That's true. I mean, when it comes to the economy, the situation did not did not improve for sure. When it comes to security in many places, in Tunisia and the Arab world in general, security did not improve. But the original thing or the um, or the biggest achievement of the Arab Spring is, uh, as one of the uh, speakers in, in the previous podcast said, um, that it, it gave freedom of expression. But it also, apart from freedom of expression, it gave the um, rights to, to, especially to Tunisians, to vote and to express their, um, their, uh, their views and to criticize their government and to demonstrate almost every day without being repressed. Um, and this, this freedom that uh, the Arab Spring brought is something that exists in, in Tunisia, but not in other places in the Arab world. And I think um, it, it is important to note this point, that th what it achieved is something that will build a, f a future free society um, who, will not, who is not enjoying its moment today, but in 5, 10 or 20 years, once freedom has been uh, fully rooted in this country, I think we will see more and more people um, praising the Arab Spring and um, remembering Mohamed Bouazizi on, in a positive light. So looking back, what lessons do you think can be learned from that period of change? Well, I think that um, uh, lessons that experts of revolutions have been saying for decades now, that revolutions are not something that um, happens from a day to the other, that revolutions are difficult at first, that um, violence and the difficulties that come with revolution uh, do not necessarily mean that uh, the revolution has failed, but it's a normal process um, that um, the first part of it is very difficult, not necessarily beautiful, but with patience, it can become something um, worth remembering and worth living. Um, but for those who are leaving the moment, those who are leaving in Tunisia in the last 10 years, it was not easy. And, um, um, and it will not be easy for anyone who will be going through revolution in um, the upcoming future. In Tunisia, of course, people were a little bit luckier than in other places. Um, it was not as violent as we've seen in Libya or in Syria. Um, and um, there was no, the counter-revolution did not succeed as we've seen in, in um, Egypt or in Syria and other places. Um, but still, people are still struggling and um, the, the fight for freedom is not definite. There are still threats to freedom of expression and to democracy in general. Democracy is never something um, that, um, uh, that lasts forever. So the fight is still ongoing. And the other bigger fight, which is the fight for uh, more equality, for a better uh, quality of life, for a better uh, economic situation for the majority of the population, that is something that is still um, on standby and, um, and people are still waiting for that to happen, actually. Okay, Yusuf Sharif, many thanks indeed for joining us on the programme.